This is the brief homily for the 25th of October. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. If someone were to say, religion should stay out of politics, well, they're too late. That ship sailed 3,000 years ago, there in that first reading. Moses, God's spokesman, instructs that the poor, the debtor, the immigrant, the widow, the orphan, the people who were vulnerable in their society were not to be exploited, were not to be treated harshly, but were to be treated with respect. When Jesus answered that question in the Gospel, the question was the greatest. He'd have answered it if he'd said, love of God. But he gave a longer answer. The first two, love of God and love of neighbour, he would not separate them because they are in practice inseparable. The love of God that's just a way of relating in our head to God and it doesn't affect the way we treat other people, that's not a faith, that's an opinion. Love of God and love of neighbour are the nails on which hang the whole of the law and the prophets, says Jesus, and that's true of the moral and social teaching of the church. It's all a description of what a loving life looks like. In that second reading, St Paul reminded the people of Thessalonica that it was by observing the way he lived his life that they came to faith, and it was by imitating that way of life that they in their turn brought others to faith. The way we live our lives is our primary means of evangelization. And in a society where we have the right to vote, the way we use that vote is part of it. The values that we vote by are an expression of our faith. Do we protect the orphan, the widow, the immigrant, the poor, the debtor? Do we reflect in our own living and in the choices we make about who is to represent us? Do we reflect the values of love of God and love of neighbour? If we do, our faith will spread to others but if our faith is no more than what we do for an hour on Sundays, if it has no spillover into the daily decisions of our ordinary living, then it's not worth calling faith. 